In this tutorial, we're going to look at what like and unlike terms are. Terms that can be represented um, by algebra tiles with the same size and shape are called like terms. So any terms that can be modeled with x squared to tiles are like terms. When you are looking at the polynomials, they're all the terms that have the exact same variables. So in this example here, we got 3x squared, we have x squared, and we have negative 2x squared. So these are three different terms. So we're trying to decide if they're like terms or not. Well, let's draw the tile models for them. 3x squared would be three large square tiles. x squared would be one large x squared tile. And negative 2x squared would be two x squared tiles, but the red side or the shaded in ones because they're negative. So we decide, are the tiles that represent these three terms the same size and shape? Well, they're all the large square tiles. So yes, they are all the same size and shape. So yes, they are all like terms. Let's look at some more examples. In our first set of terms, we have x, 2x, and negative 4x. We look at the variables in these three terms. All three have just x's. The numbers in front don't matter. It's just the variables that we're looking at. Because they're all x's, they are like terms. In this next example, we see 3, negative 12, and 8. These are all constant terms, so they are like terms. They also have no variables attached to them. Let's look at another one. We've got 3x squared y. We've got negative x squared y. And another one, 12x squared y. So again, you're just looking at the variables and the combination of them. So the numbers out front don't matter. So here we have x squared y, here we have x squared y, and here we have x squared y. So they are as well like terms. Looking at this example, we see we got 3x squared y, and the second term we got 4xy squared. Are these like terms, these two terms? No, they aren't, because... That's right, the variables are different. In the first one, there's x squared and a y, and in the second one, it's just an x and then a y squared. Polynomials are in simplified form when there are no like terms left in the polynomial. So for example, a simplified polynomial might be 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. There's no like terms here. This term is x squared term. This term is an x term. And this term is a constant term. Let's look at an example that's not simplified. In this example, we have an x squared term, an x term, another x term, and a constant term. So because we have two terms that are like terms in our polynomial still, this is not a simplified polynomial. In order to simplify the polynomial, you have to gather like terms. So you look at the terms that are like, and you add and subtract them. So to simplify, to simplify, combine like terms by adding and subtracting them, or subtracting them. So in our example, we had 3x squared. There's no other terms that are like it, so it stays the same. 2x squared and 3x squared are like terms, so we can combine them by adding the coefficients. So we have a positive 2 and we have a positive 3. So if you add them together, you get positive 5. So positive 5x. And then the constant is plus 1, so it stays the same. If you think about the model, the tile model, you'd have 2x tiles and you're adding 3 more x tiles. So then you have a total of 5x tiles. And that is like and unlike terms.